Hello. Today's the 29th of July and I thought we'd just do a quick little tour of the garden just before the end of the month. So these are these seedlings I planted. They're doing really well. They're not as leggy as I was thinking they might be, so it must be the uh, white card um, trick that I've, I've done in the bathroom. And you can read about that on, on the blog. The lettuces, the red ones are the small stocky ones and the green ones are the bit more leggy ones. I'm sure they'll be fine when they, um, they go into the garden, but just in case I plant another eight. So over to the first bed, the uh, pansies are looking brilliant. Um, on those grey days, they really do just shoot out some colour. And beside that we've got some chard or silver beet, another chard, and cos lettuces are in there. I bought those from Seedling Punnet and I think I got 23 lettuces out of one little Seedling Punnet. The only problem is a lot of them are bitter. Um, the red, red lettuces there, they're really quite nice but the green ones, it's not so good. So I'm not sure if we'll eat them or just chuck them in our little worm tunnel. So there's lots of onions in there as well and a couple of marigolds, which is nice to see in the middle of winter. Onto the garlic bed. The garlic's growing great. I think there's 125 bulbs um, that have come up and this is a purple variety. So when we go down here, we can see that they're starting to fatten up. So in three months, Ish. Um, hopefully we'll be starting to harvest some nice big bulbs. In the last few years I've always packed them in a lot tighter. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we get some, some bigger bulbs this year because they've had the space to move or if the packing tightly works. Onto the back bed, full of silver beet, Swiss chard, um, and some spring onions. The Swiss chard is beautiful. Um, the colours, I think it was a bright lights, really does just make the garden really pretty. So next winter we'll be growing these in the left bed at the front, um, just covering it because we've been using it in salads. It's not, it's not growing fast enough to get tough and nasty, and it tastes very similar to similar to pre-washed little lettuce bags at the supermarket. And so every salad saving you know, two dollars. Um, the lemon tree is looking brilliant lots of massive lemons. Uh, last year it was just like a spindly little stick with a couple of a couple of fruit whereas now it's really bushed out, really growing. Um, I'm wondering if after spring I'll have to trim it back a bit but it's a Eureka lemon so there should be lemons all through the season. Um, we will see. The parsley bed's doing well. Um, tiny bit's going a bit yellow and there are a few aphids on there but We'll be pulling all this out soon. I'm going to put a zucchini in here, probably mm, end of September. So find a use for that in some cooking. And we've got some spring onions in there, which we'll start harvesting and, and maybe putting in salads. In the back there, we've got a freckle face marigold. Um, beautiful when it gets wet, but it's, it's looking a bit tired and we're going to have to um, sort that area out. And as we swing back, we'll just look up at the olive tree and fingers crossed that it gets covered in flowers and we get hundreds of olives. <laughs>